Hey you guys, I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and this is my little buddy Lauren Shramko. We're in South Florida catching peacocks, largemouth, and my very first clown knife fish. It's a catch, clean, and cook right now. What I'm trying to do is find where the shoal comes up a little bit, not in that bank. Come here for a second. Go catch some fish. You gonna keep them live? Oh yeah, uh huh. Here you go. Hold this. Little bumper boat. Thank you. Let me give you a few more now. Hold on. Here you go. You guys go catch some fish. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Go get them. Hey, catch a good one, man. Been tough finding them. We just got the net on them pretty good right there. Gonna try to make one more throw. We're fishing. Very important when you're out here fishing these live baits, make sure you're fishing a nice, frisky bait. You want them swimming around real fast. When he's swimming fast, he triggers the bite. Oh, a little large mouth. The chum is working, you guys. We've been fishing for a minute and we've caught two fish. They're biting. See the big fish just roll up there? Oh, that was a nice bite right there. Peacock. Oh my God. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Man, these fish pull so hard. There we go. Look at the color on that fish. Holy mackerel, y'all. Look at that. Beautiful fish. But uh, that's probably about a two, two and a half pounder. Great to eat. We'll let him go. I've caught largemouth bass and a peacock. Clown knife, where you at? Take that hook and you're gonna go right in the soft part of the nose. Perfect. In. Right out here in the Oh, that's the that's the I've seen that fish roll there a few times. Nice fish, right on that point. Feels like a different fish. It's not fighting like the others. Oh, that's a clown knife! Yeah! Are you kidding me? This is what I came here for. Look at this fish. Are you kidding me? Look at this fish. Are you kidding me? I literally have caught a largemouth a peacock and the third fish that I've hooked, I haven't got him yet, is a, a clown knife. Are you kidding me? Come on, very soft mouth. They swim in all kinds of directions in their... Barely though. Come on. Look at them swimming backwards. Don't give me a run backwards. Yeah, 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 your daddy's gonna net him. Yeah, no, you get him. Look at that, you guys. That's 
what I'm talking about. No way. Look at that fish. Guess what we're eating for dinner tonight, boys? Clown knife fish. Look how nice and thick their backs are. That joker has teeth on his tongue. I gotta give a big shout out to Lathan Crow. Buddy, you, you made me this rod while I was out in Texas and I use it all the time. Thank you so much, I'm thinking about you. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Right out here. Got him. Non-stop action, dude. This is probably one of the best days of freshwater fishing of my life. What's this, a largemouth? It's like, it's like we're, it's like we're at Golden Corral, but we're catching fish. It's like, what do you want? You want a peacock? You want a clown knife? You want a largemouth? I don't care, I just want a fish. Largemouth. Woo, look at that. Healthy fish, healthy fish. Look, I'm not kidding you. I fished like five baits and I've caught four fish. Remarkable. Well, it's halftime folks, intermission here on the lake. Just a real honor to be able to spend the day with her on the boat. Now we're gonna eat a sub and go to a new spot. Let's catch that iguana. Got it. Yeehaw! Got me a, I got me a lizard, boys. <laughs> Y'all didn't think that would work, did you? <laughs> yeah, buddy. We're lizard fishing. He's doing a death roll. Now, I want to know who saw that coming. Right there, y'all. That is a big old gigantic iwana. Now, we've come out here, we've caught largemouth bass, peacock bass, clown knife fish, garfish, and a big old giant iguana. Incredible. Oh, no way, you got one. Yeah. Oh, might be a striper. Yeah. Awesome. What do you think it is, Lore? Striper. Striper? Look at this, this fish is running like a champion. Oh my gosh, this is a big fish. Right here. Oh no, it's a striper. Okay, what's that, like five or six species we've oh, caught now? Yeah, that's a big one. Look at this, you guys. Wow, wow, wow. So, Obviously, all the rumors are true. You are a fishing queen. We come out here, 
We've been catching fish left and right, and Lauren just put it on this big old striper. That's an awesome fish. That's the first one of those I've ever seen. Oh, your bait's right there? <laughs> oh, striper! I got a striper! This is my seventh! Here. Yeah! Woo! What a day. Beautiful fish. Got him. Got him. Oh, it's a big knife, big knife fish. No joke, look at him right there. Oh, what a great fish. Look at him swimming backwards. Okay, Lauren, you gonna net them for me? Yeah, you're awesome, girl. You are awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Look how their whole body is like a ribbon. They can swim forward, backwards. They're, I mean, just a crazy, crazy predator. Look at that. I'm gonna throw this puppy on ice. We're going to the house. Very rare do I get to clean a fish for the first time. Look at that, beautiful clown knife. As you can tell, the fish looks like a ribbon and I've never filleted one and I've never seen anyone fillet one. So I'm just gonna do my best here. Cut right up there. Meat feels very nice thus far. Wow, I'm surprised. It's like Kind of proud for my first time ever doing one. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Just like that, I knocked his sides off. He seems a little little soft, a little mushy, and I tried to cut the bones out of this one and it didn't, didn't work too well. There's a lot of bones. And I was just using my Deer Meat for Dinner Silver Stag Filet Knife. I love this knife. If you're getting ready to fish this spring and summer, uh, there'll be a link in the description below. That's the best filet knife you'll ever own in your life. Made out of D2 steel right in Blaine, Washington. But um, let's go inside and cook this sucker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to season it up with a little Everglades fish and chicken and then I'm just going to sear it off in the pan using a little olive oil. All I'm trying to do is caramelize the outside of this fish, let it cook through and through, and then we'll be tasting it. Go ahead and turn off the heat. Looks nice.
the fish itself has a nice flavor. Nice, crunchy, caramelized outside crust. But the meat has the consistency of mashed potatoes. Can y'all see how many bones are in that thing? It's like it's got just thousands of little bones in it. If you can get a bite without a ton of bones, it's really nice. It's not fishy at all. I'm glad I was able to do this video and I hope to catch many more, but I think these will be the last that I keep to eat. Alright, there you have it. I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. That was truly one of my favorite days of freshwater fishing of my whole life. It was on fire. So, that's all I got for you. I got several videos coming up this week. I hope you tell a friend, share it with some of your social media, and if you haven't already, please hit subscribe, click that little notification bell so that each time we upload, you know about it and you can stay in the loop. Take care, God bless, we gone.